So in this video, we're going to be working on our stop whistle. As you can see here, Millie starts to slow up when she hears it, but chooses to pick the dummy before actually stopping. So we're going to break it down. I've asked her to sit and blow in the stop whistle where I want to stop her eventually, and followed that with a hunt whistle where she gains the reward and comes back with a dummy. We rehearsed that a few times. Now we're just going to make the hunt whistle a little bit more challenging. Buried the dummy quite deep in that bracken there. I'm going to line her up. I don't always send her when I line her up because she does predict that she's going to be sent. Sent her, stopped her, and then asked her to hunt. It is a bit of a challenge finding the dummy in this bracken, but it just keeps her on her toes and keeps her engaged. She finds and comes back. So we're a few days on from the last clip. We're increasing the distance a little bit here between us and the dummy. I've sent her out for the straight dummy. But last week we were struggling with distractions when we have a left and right. Uh, she was getting a little bit confused on the back. So we're keeping learning and keeping her on her toes with this one as well. So I've asked her to leave the left and right and go back for the dummy behind her. She does do gain success and come straight back. So in this clip, the dummy's in the long grass and the heather there, so I've just stopped her in the area. I'm going to throw a favourite dummy out as a mark to retrieve. I've asked her to leave that, and then I'm going to ask her to hunt the area that she's in, and hopefully she'll hold that area. She does find success quite quickly, and then we'll continue in the coming weeks to build on our stop whistle in a positive and rewarding manner. 